this is my April roundup of two lifetime deals that I don't want you to miss out on AppSumo. So let's go check them out right now. What's up, everyone? This is Sassmaster, and there's two lifetime deals that I definitely want you to check out before they are gone. Now, one of them is Psychic Browser, and the second one is WP Security Ninja. Now, Psychic Browser is what I'm actually using right now. And basically, it's like having all the power of Chrome, but with additional features of Psychic Browser, because on the back end, it's actually Chrome. Now, it starts off at $49 for the lifetime deal, and there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So go ahead and buy with Calm. And if you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it, all right? But I definitely, it's a keeper, all right? Now, the $49 deal is one user and has built in VPN included. Now, if you're going to need more users and team roles features with shared apps, then jump into license tier two and all the way up to license tier three if you have more users than five. But for most of us, I think license tier one is more than enough. I got tier two because I'm kind of crazy, but there you go. Okay, so Psychic Browser, what can it do additionally from what you can do with Chrome? Well, first of all, it has the included VPN and you can log into several accounts with this sidebar, which is the Psychic Bar, okay? So for example, in this case, I have two accounts that I'm logging into Twitter. I'll just click on it and it opens up the Twitter and I'll right click on it and I'll jump into my Twitter account too. For example, I am logging into both of these Twitter accounts in my Psychic Browser. So I don't have to use the incognito mode. I don't have to use a separate browser, so I won't have to use Safari and Chrome to log into two accounts. So this makes things more easy for me. So I can go ahead and double click on this and jump to add more accounts, recently used, and I have options for this. There's a ton of options with Psychic Browser. Now, when it comes to settings, I think it's really important that we cover these because they have what makes it different. So first of all, you got your theme that makes it light, dark, or auto. Manage colors, you got your site sidebar width. In this case, it's medium, which I think is large. And I lift it this way because I wanted to show you. But in my case, I would use it small so it, it doesn't show that big on the left, especially if you have a small computer, right? The sidebar icon is grayscale. So if you don't want to get distracted, you can turn this into gray and it'll turn to color whatever you have using. Now, grayscale also turns on automatically when you use the mute button, which I'll show you in a bit. Okay. You got the hide address bar when no tabs are open. So in this case, I do have tabs open, but if not, all I use is my sidebar. I got the option for time format, photo backgrounds. I got the ad blocker enabled, so it's already enabled there. I can whitelist websites in case it's doing some conflicts with it. So that's easy to just add the white label site there. CPU monitor, I can get a notification if the CPU usage is, is high or suspend inactive tabs with high CPU usage. Like I said, these are things that you're not going to get the option on Chrome. And I can also allow domains to consume high CPU. In this case, I've added three domains that I use a lot and I don't mind them using a lot of CPU. Tab suspender, so I can suspend tabs for free memory. Privacy options, so fingerprint def defense. Enable VPN, other, so make sight of my default browser. Distraction blocker, so when you have distraction enabled, for example, if I have the mute button enabled, if I click on any link that's YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook, it's going to go to whatever link I said. In this case, it's set by default to your Gmail inbox. So that way, hey, don't get distracted. Don't go see a YouTube video. Go to the inbox, okay? Integrations, in case you want to integrate with a G Gmail signature and Google Calendar, etc. Account, basically, that's the account that I have, okay? Now, those are the basic features, but I can do a whole lot more, right? You got your mute option here. So in case you don't want to get distracted, you can go ahead and mute this for one hour until the evening, etc. And if I mute this, see how this turns into gray? Unless I'm using something like this, then it turns to color, which is useful to not get distracted in this case, okay? For example, if I'm viewing Twitter, I can go ahead and split the screen with something that I have already. For example, this AppSumo Plus a tab that I have open, and I can go ahead and split the screen or get rid of the screen. I have all my Chrome extensions installed here already. Now, one of the beauties about Sidekick, which would worry most of us, is making the transition to Sidekick. You might think it's complex to make the transition from Chrome to Sidekick, but it's not. You can do an import automatically from your Chrome extensions, your passwords, your history, etc. Bring it on to Sidekick and start using it right away without having to go anywhere. So like I said, there's a ton of features available that you can use here in Sidekick that I'm not even mentioning here because it's just so extensive. But you get all of this with the lifetime deal that you buy here in AppSumo. Now, there's shortcuts for everything, which I think is pretty cool once you learn how to use it because it's going to make you more productive. Now, the second deal that I want to show you is WP Security Ninja, which I've made a dedicated video in the past, and I do think that it's well worth grabbing it 
Because if you're using a WordPress plugin for security that's free, this is going to do way more than that one does. OK, so it's a thirty nine dollar lifetime deal. And again, if you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it within the time period of 60 days. Now, what you're going to get is one website for the thirty nine dollars. But if you have more sites, jump into the ninety nine dollar license. And if you have more websites, I would say jump into the license four, which you can get unlimited websites plus white label. So this is great when you have clients and you're building websites for them and you don't want them to know what you're using for security, this is going to white label it. So it's a pretty good option if you are building websites for clients. Now, what does it actually do? I have this installed already on my WordPress site. And as you can see, I have the plugin installed, which is WP Security Ninja. I've already run tests here. So that means that I am OK in some of these securities and some of them I am failing. One of the things I like about WP Security Ninja is that it can make some quick changes from here without having to go somewhere else. So let me give you a quick example. For example, like this one, this will apply the fix just by clicking on this. So I don't have to go anywhere and mess with anything else because I can do it straight from here. So for example, the database prefix, which is this one, I can go ahead and edit it from here. See this without having to go somewhere else on the database and go change it. I can do it from here. Okay. Now I would recommend you back up before you actually make changes to be on the secure side. All right. Then you have your vulnerabilities options here. So you got a scanner that's available. You can go ahead and turn this on the admin counter, email warnings, the email recipient who's going to get the warnings. You got your core scanner. So you can run this core scanner and it's going to give you the results. Let's go ahead and wait for this to finish just to give you an idea. I'm pretty sure it's clean. Yeah, no problems found. OK, then I have my malware scanner here and it already found 13 issues. So I can go ahead and view these and I can whitelist it or delete it. In this case, I'm going to delete this one. I know what it is already because it's a virus scanner that I used previously, but I'm not using it anymore. So that file shouldn't be there. OK, so you can delete these right there. Then you got your firewall settings. In this case, it's already enabled. And since I enabled this, I already have six thousand eight hundred and seventy three blocked visits so far using this firewall. And you have your settings for the firewall right here. Next, you got your scheduler for the scans. You got your events. They're going to view what's going on here and the white label options since I have this option available. OK, so I can go ahead and do the options here, change the plugin name, plugin description, the author, etc. Like I said, so they don't know what you're using, especially when you're building sites for clients and you don't want them bugging around like, hey, what's checking the version? What does it do, etc. Uh, unnecessary questions that, well, might not be necessary because you're taking care of everything that you need. So that's the option there. So these are the two April deals that I think you should definitely check out. In my personal perspective, I think you should grab them, but it's up to you if you keep them or not. You got the 60 day money back guarantee. Go ahead and test it. If it's the right fit for you, then go ahead and keep them. But there you go. These links will be provided in the description. And that's a wrap for this roundup.